At the same meeting, city council members unanimously approved that a vacant building downtown be turned into a facility for the not-for-profit Neighbor Bridge. This is an important step in reaching the organization's goal to empower teenagers in our community. So what exactly is Neighbor Bridge? NCTV 17's Kevin Maycheck finds out. One group is seeking to bridge the gap between teenagers and the rest of the community. Naper Bridge is wrapping up its first year as a not-for-profit, providing teens with special events catered towards them. We want to be a welcoming, safe place for Naperville teens to uh, belong, to create, to play, to perform. Our vision is that we would have a downtown location that would serve as a, as a physical hub for teens to, to call their own. And now that vision is becoming a reality thanks to the city council who voted to let them use the building at 231 Washington Street as their hub. Many, many years ago, uh, teenagers used to uh, sit on the Naperville Bridge rail and uh, because they didn't have a place to go. So now uh, times have changed and they've sort of lost that hangout spot. So this is great. We're really we're happy for them. Until now, Naper Bridge borrowed the barn at Knock Park for special programs like a student DJing competition and teen band show. The group's 10 student advisory board takes ideas from the larger teen population and turns them into events. Being on the student board, I can tell you right now that I've gained leadership skills, communication skills, um, planning skills, like actually real skills I can apply to everyday life. Moving forward, they'll have a space for activities all their own in the heart of downtown, fostering a sense of belonging within the community. It really tackled the uh, the problem that teens have when they're bored. They have nothing to do, so they just go do bad stuff sometimes. And so, you know, this gives us a place to go hang out and just be safe. And it's it's really just a, an overall great thing for teens and great thing for the community in general. And I was like, wow, this sounds great. You know, I haven't really heard of anything like this. I was a little confused. I'm like, there's really a center just for teenagers, like nothing else, because most like it's hard because kids don't know where to hang out. The group's new building is still being reconditioned for use, so Naper Bridge will hold two more events here at the barn, a junior high school dance on October 5th, and a high school dance on October 19th. I'm Kevin Maycheck for Naperville News 17. For more information, including a list of upcoming events, visit naperbridge.org.